Recently, I was building a website for a construction company and it required a setup of a gallery template so they can showcase the individual galleries for all the different homes that they built. So today I wanna to show you exactly how I set this up using advanced custom fields, generate press as my theme and generate blocks. All right, so the first step in this tutorial we're going to tackle is adding the custom post type using advanced custom fields. So we jump into our advanced custom fields, go to post types and say add new. We're going to call this galleries, singular gallery, and go ahead and save change. Now you'll see on the left hand side we've got a galleries custom post type. We can go ahead and jump into the advanced configuration and change the icons to something a little bit more appropriate. Um, let's see, photo or gallery, here we are. Got a little gallery icon, select that, save changes. And you see now it's updated. So perfect, we got our gallery post type. All right, so next we need to go ahead and create the element page template within Generate Press. So we'll go to Appearance, Elements. Now keep in mind the Elements is part of the Generate Press Premium or GP1 subscription. Uh, highly recommend it. Elements is single-handedly the strongest, most useful part of Generate Press theme. Um, so if you're not already a premium user, definitely go snag that. So we'll go ahead and add a new element and we're gonna choose a block element and hit create. We'll call this gallery page template. And on the right hand side, we're going to rename this a content template and then put the editor width back to a hundred percent. Now I wanted to take a moment to pause and let you know how we're going to set this up and what it's going to look like. So this is a very basic gallery page template setup. What we're going to have is a page hero section that will include the title of the gallery and a background image that includes the featured image of that gallery. And then below that, we're gonna include a gallery of the images themselves, just using the basic WordPress gallery block. So this template is going to set up the foundation so that we can then go in and create those additional posts and be able to have a cohesive design and layout for every single gallery post we create. All right, so that first section I mentioned is we're going to create a page hero section. So we're gonna add a container and add a inner container on my outer one. Going to uh, include a new style. We'll call this container small. Hit create. blank style and on this container we're going to do 80 20 80 oops 20 on the padding and under mobile we'll go ahead and leave that the same as well and then in our inner container we're going to insert a h1 headline and this needs to be pulled in using the gallery title itself and so we want to utilize dynamic data with that. So we're going to enable dynamic data, current post, title. All right, now if we go in and select the outer container in our uh, page hero section here, we do want to insert a dynamic background image using the feature image itself. Um, now, when you, if you go in and select the dynamic data option in this container, there is no, it's grayed out because we have not added a background image to the container yet. So you need to go ahead and insert a default. So we'll choose one that we have in our library. And now what you can do is select that and click featured image. We'll go ahead and say use fallback image just in the case that we forget there's something for there to still exist. All right, now we need to alter this a little bit so that we can read the text on top. Um, so what I'm gonna do is add a gradient on top in the background. 
choose pseudo element and first color we'll go ahead and choose white color two we're going to choose white and change the opacity all the way down to zero now the post title you see is suddenly behind that gradient so we need to come up to the Z index under the layout and go ahead and insert two, which will bring that to the top. All right, now as we look at this on tablet, um, that looks okay, and as well as mobile, that works all right too. So we'll go ahead and move on forward here then below. And what this next body section is going to contain is just the actual gallery itself and so I'm going to insert a container with an inner container the outer one I'm going to utilize the same uh, global style that I had before for my other container and this inner container width I want to actually confine to be a little bit smaller than the 1200 default width um, so we're going to go with 800 pixel width. Then now, in order to pull in the gallery block that we're going to insert on our posts, we need to utilize the generate press dynamic content block. And when you insert this block, you're going to choose post content. So what that's going to do is anything you put in the block editor on those posts themselves will be pulled in automatically to this template. All right, so we need to get rid of that extra little paragraph block there. And let's go ahead and save the draft. Then we'll come on down to the display rules and we want this to be included for galleries. So come until you see the galleries post type and select gallery, all galleries. So now we'll go ahead, hit save and publish. Perfect. So next is go ahead and create a few galleries and take a look at what they look like on the front end. So we'll come to galleries, say add new gallery, and we'll say modern home as the title of our gallery. And now in the body of our content, I'm only going to just use the default WordPress gallery block and go ahead and choose some images I have already in my library ready to go. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the captions here since we don't want to include those. And we can then also set a featured image because if you remember, we need that featured image for our hero section. So go ahead and choose one of those that refers to that home. And I believe that's it. So we go ahead and hit publish. Now we can go ahead and view the gallery. And you'll see we actually have a little bit of conflicting page heroes uh, because I have a global page hero set up already on my demo site that is creating a duplicate. So I need to go into my elements to my page hero and go ahead add an exclusion rule for the galleries so we'll choose gallery all galleries hit save and come back and refresh um, and now of course with this certain layout design i have on this demo site i do need to add some more padding on the top um, to help push the title down but as you can see we've got the gallery title we've got that featured image in the background and then we have our basic WordPress gallery in place of that below. So now let's go ahead and jump in back to our gallery template. If we actually hover on elements while we're viewing the template page, we can click through to edit it. And we're going to remove this small container block because we need to just create a custom one for this. And we're going to say about 160, 20, 20, and say 80. All right, let's go ahead and hit update on that padding and see our changes. Definitely a lot better. Of course, if this was a real live site, I would not have the navigation white 
with the white fade uh, just those don't really work well together you can't read it but this is just a demo for the template page overall all right so we've got that title as i mentioned we've got our featured image in the background um, and then we have our gallery so if we take a look at the responsive sections for this um, we've got the tablet version and mobile and it looks like we've got a little bit of a funky problem here with the gallery not showing up full width so let's go ahead and take a look at that if we go ahead and inspect this page we're gonna see there's actually some padding on the 80 pixels of padding on the right it looks like that was just user error um, so let's jump back into here click here to the container small spacing and sure enough I did 80 20 80 20 instead of 20 80 so my fault we'll go ahead and come back to our customizer much better now no longer have that padding on the right all right so now the beauty of this gallery template setup is now we can go in and say on the uh, create a new page we'll say page add new say our work and we can then create a query loop real quick I'll do a very fast version of this uh, query loop using generate blocks um, we'll use two columns one to start we'll go ahead and delete out the excerpt delete out the dates delete out the image and if we come to our post template we're going to insert a background image and enable dynamic data say featured image and for that same post template, let's also do a min height of 250 pixels. Um, and then on the query loop itself, we want this to query galleries instead of our posts, uh, blog posts. And for the titles, we can go ahead and create this as display flex column and put it on the bottom we will then edit the title to be white oh it's a link we'll do font weight bold oops and on this post template we'll go ahead and also use a gradient just like we did on the page heroes choose pseudo element color one use the dark we'll do a 135 or let's see up oh, 360 there we go color two we'll choose the dark zero opacity in this one we're going to put about a 50 percent stop on the second color and now on that post title we do need to come up and set a z index of two and so now if we jump to tablet and mobile, everything looks pretty decent. We'll go ahead and hit publish and view this page. So now you see we have a gallery query loop to display our work. So if we go in and add a few more galleries, which I'll pause and come back to do that real quick. All right, so I've gone in and I created three more galleries on my website. And so if we come back to our uh, work page here, we refresh and now you can see I've got links and galleries to all four different pages. So you can see Rustic Farm, we've got our featured image background and the gallery below. Same with the additional ones. All right, so that concludes this tutorial on setting up a gallery page template using Advanced Custom Fields, Generate Press Premium, and Generate Blocks Pro. As you can see, it really isn't too complicated of a setup. Uh, even utilizing the WordPress gallery block out of the box 
um, works pretty well and displays the images nicely. You can control how many columns you wish to show. My favorite part of this feature is also setting it up with a query loop to be able to showcase all the galleries on a page and click through to the individual ones. Thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. If you would leave a like below and subscribe to my channel for future videos.